know. You ain't gotta show your face on this shit. You already know. It's you already know. lit when you do this shit, too. Damn, son. Where'd you find that? A real talk media. Real talk media. A real talk media. Real talk. What's going on, YouTube? This your boy, Real Talk. You're now tuned in to Real Talk Media. Got something different to talk about today, boy. All right, hold up, wait a minute. Y'all might want to go ahead and roll one up. If y'all already got a roll, fire that bitch up. Pack y'all bowl, y'all bong, y'all little vape sit, man. Look, before I even get too deep in the video, make sure y'all subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit the notification bell. And matter of fact, share the fuck out this video. I'm trying to blow up. With that being said, Joe, another person got added to that nine trade indictment. Y'all know the one with Takashi 69 and the nigga Shoddy and all the rest of them. Yeah, man. Hey, but y'all ain't seen nothing yet. Yo, I'm about to read to y'all this article that was done by Complex Media. And then I'm going to talk to y'all about something else. Before I go, yo, Frost, you ready to break the internet, nigga? What? On Thursday afternoon, the already complicated 6 9 racketeering case got a bit more complicated. It introduced a new suspect into the mix and removed an existing one. The indictment charges Al Jermiah Nuke Mack with racketeering, narcotics, and firearms offenses. He was taken into custody Thursday afternoon. In addition to accusing Mack of membership in the nine trade gangster bloods, the indictment alleges that he dealt heroin, fentanyl, and MDMA. Mac had not previously been charged in the case. Side note, some of y'all know him as Noop. Some of y'all know him as Wavy Baby. Matter of fact, I did a video. I did a couple videos about him. But um, it's a video I got on my channel right now with GQ Casanova sitting outside or standing outside talking crazy about the two times nigga. And he eating a piece of cheesecake. And y'all kept saying that the dude that he's standing next to looking hungry, looking like he wanted a piece of the cheesecake or something. Hey, y'all's cracking all types of jokes. But that dude y'all talk about, that's Noop. That's Wavy Baby. Hey, word is, that's a real nigga. Now he really indicted. But the new story continues as... As alleged in the superseded indictment, Nuke, like his nine trade conspirators, engaged in brazen acts of gun violence and narcotics dealing. Also named the indictment is one existing defendant, Anthony Harv Ellison. Ellison is the person who allegedly kidnapped 6 9 back in July 2018. Okay, so check this out. Y'all know who uh, the dude who kidnapped him is the same one who was fighting with him or helping him fight out there when they was in L.A. He the big, tall, lanky nigga who set it off. I think he had him like brown or dark. Man, y'all know who I'm talking about. But um, anyway... Another name was missing from the new indictment, Roland Romerda Martin. Martin had, along with Ellison, been one of the two remaining defendants in the case who, prior to today, hadn't pleaded guilty. The U.S. District Attorney is declining to comment on why his name is no longer in that indictment or why it's missing, but many people are believing it's because he's probably about to plead guilty himself. So, I mean, hey, this whole shit crazy. Now, y'all wanted to get even crazier than that? These motherfuckers done went and got nuke ass, man. What the f Oh, hold up, wait a minute. Y'all really don't understand the significance of this. Like, they didn't got Nuke, they didn't got Mill Murder, they didn't got Row Murder, they didn't got man, look, hold up, wait a minute. Y'all remember a while ago it was a video out by the nigga Al Sean Martin, the big bug eyed sloth looking dude. Y'all know who I'm talking about, the uh the Hoover nigga from Cali or something that was down with nine Trey. Remember he was saying, Shoddy a snitch, shoddy a snitching. I, I gotta you tell you say, too much. You you yeah, I'm gonna say some of that. I'm gonna talk about it. fuck shoddy, big headed ass, yep. Yeah. Hey, Shoddy a snitch. I'm letting y'all know that. Shoddy is a straight snitch. Shoddy is cooperating. That's what they said in court. He cooperating. Let me see. Uh, Shoddy cooperating right now. What's up? Okay, so now y'all know who I'm talking about. Anyway, I was clowning the shit out, homeboy. And I still am because you still ain't produced no paperwork. And that video came out back in January. But anyway, you were saying Shoddy was a snitch. And I was saying I'm not going to put that cable on Shoddy because so far he seemed like a stand-up individual. Even though a lot of niggas say he grimy, he ain't never did nothing against nobody that nobody could confirm. You know what I mean? With that being said, Joe, that nigga might have been right, though. Y'all notice I said might have been because he still ain't produced no paperwork. I still ain't seen no paperwork. But it's one thing when niggas run around calling you a snitch or you allegedly snitching. And it's still, man, look, man, fuck all that. Y'all know Fubanga is part of this indictment, right? Y'all know who Fubanga is. If y'all don't know, Google it. F U Banga. That's his name. Anyway, he's part of this indictment. He's charged with the Barclays shooting and some more little bullshit. But with that being said, why he trying to say that, um, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me correct it. Why is he trying to say that his lawyer is giving him information and giving him paperwork that says that nigga shoddy snitching? That nigga shoddy didn't gave the police y'all phone records when y'all two was texting and talking on the phone, linked you all the way back to such and such date. That nigga, man, look, I'm about to play bits and pieces of this interview. Y'all want to see the whole thing? Go check out Jack Frost shit, BBN Network. That ain't like I said, hey, man, this whole shit about to get deep. Let's go. You're saying shoddy is talking, not Mel. I 
nah, 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 Shoddy showed them information regarding you back in 2004? Yeah, hell yeah. Then, Hold on, wait. What? Shoddy is a straight snitch. Shoddy is cooperating. And then, then he, had, he had gave them like his, um, his, his phone records and shit. So it, it showed me, it showed me like, like texting them and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so Shoddy's telling, telling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now you're saying that Shadi has definitely been going back and showing records of some previous stuff between that happened with you in 2004 or eight or something like that, right? Yeah, no. See, I'm not saying that. That's what my lawyer said. That's, That's what, what your lawyer's lawyer saying. Back, you know what I'm saying? Damn. Hold up. Wait a minute. Real talk, mafia. Quarter of the streets. I need y'all attention. Do y'all believe, dude? He is actually a part of the case. Not true enough. I haven't seen any paperwork. You haven't seen any paperwork. But he is a part of the case. Is he lying? Or did, is, I mean, hey, some of y'all are new to see the fuck all that. I ain't got it. Now, do y'all believe him or not? That's what got me here. Now, other than that, I would have beat the case. You know what I'm saying? So, other than that, you'll be out here in the street. Yo, Real Talk Mafia, people that have been watching for a minute, I need y'all to think. Do y'all remember when I did a video where I said, niggas is getting knocked out, niggas is getting their jaws broke, and niggas is getting poked up behind us, right? Okay. Remember how I said I couldn't release names yet because I still needed to confirm some stuff and some stuff wasn't for the general public yet? Okay, well, check this out. Yeah, Hog Hog had knocked out Shotty and shit. Damn, hold on, wait a minute. You said he got knocked out. I ain't even hear he got knocked out. But I mean, you was in there, you is in there with him. I mean, what the fuck? I heard he got punched in this shit. He was trying to hold his own or something, but yeah, he did get beat the fuck up. Yo, hold up. He got knocked out, though? Shotty was, was trying to get in the elevator and you know? And uh, the nigga Hall knocked him out his knocked him out his patakis and shit. Wow. So you, even the, the, the police in here, the police in here, they all making they all they, they saying Shotty's a clown and shit. You know what I'm saying? The police don't fuck with him. And then when when Shotty went to the box for that, he he was in the box crying and shit. We don't bend, we don't fold, we don't break. Damn, that shit crazy. <laughs> Make sure y'all go check out Jack Frost channel, the BBN Network. I done cropped out a lot of stuff from this video, so y'all need to go get the full video on his channel to get the full context and so forth and so on. Yada yada, y'all know what I'm talking about. But um, hey, what's up with Real Murder and the rest of them niggas though? So Harv, so but Harv, let's just clear this up. I want to make all, all this is clear. So Harv did not run into Mel. Half, half, half seen Mel, but he, you know, him, it, it ain't no, it ain't no friction between them two. You know what I'm saying? Copy. Okay. You know, and then Ro, Ro Murder from Ro Murder, he got, he got stabbed up ten times and shit. He in critical condition in Brooklyn and shit. So you know, I always want to say, get well to him. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, definitely get he well, bro. That's a fact. Oh man. Damn, man. If that's true, man, get well soon, man. Heal up quick, bro. I mean, I know you in um unfortunate circumstances right now, bro. But do the best that you can to come out even stronger than you was before you went in. Man, psh, this whole shit crazy, man. Shout out to Frost. Good interview. I definitely appreciate you putting it out because it gives me something to piggyback off or that goes along with some of the stories that I've already done. Man, look, salute. You tapped in with some of the same people I'm tapped in with. So I know a lot of the shit you get official and I know we both get fed some bullshit at times. But hey, damn. What do y'all think about this? Do y'all believe him? Once again, the person who was on the interview on the phone call is Foo Banger. That's the one that was charged with uh, shooting up in the back. Uh, what's that shit called again? I'm high as hell. The uh, Barclays. I was okay, I'm back. I had to get my shit together. Yeah, uh, Foo Banger is the one that was charged with shooting up in the Barclays. And y'all remember when that incident happened, when they was getting into a casting over two times. And hey, yo, is he telling the truth or is he lying? Is he cloud chasing? What do we got to lie about? We haven't seen no paperwork, so I'm asking y'all, what do y'all think about it? I'm not asking y'all to discredit uh, Frost or his channel. I'm not asking y'all to... Bro, I want to know what y'all think about what he said in relation to everything that's been going on and in relation to the recent indictments. Remember, another person just got indicted. Wavy Baby, a.k.a. Nuke, a.k.a. 
The nigga on the left, it looked like he wanted a cheesecake. Yeah, him. Okay, so I've asked for y'all thoughts and opinions as far as for this case in general. I've asked what y'all thought about the new indictment. I've asked what y'all thought about Jack Frost's, uh, Jack Frost's, my high ass. I asked what y'all thought about the network's interview. Um, and now it's time for me to tell y'all what I think. I think it's a very unfortunate circumstance. I think that even though these dudes are street individuals and the feds or the police may have been watching them for however long before Takashi came into the picture, I think by him being allowed to come into the picture, to put it on a big screen, to magnify it and to do some of the things that he was doing, it caused it to draw extra eyes, extra attention, which put an extra sense of urgency on doing something about that group. And they seen him as one of the weak links. So when things start happening and he start bragging about it, they're like, oh, so these motherfuckers really, okay, watch this. We're going to go through him and get all y'all. Now, true enough, some of the stuff that he said or a lot of the stuff that he said, they may have already knew. Yeah, they had phone taps. They had, Okay, yeah, they may have already knew a lot of that stuff. But at the same time, did they know it or did they kind of know? You know what I mean? You know how you have ideas or you may have a recording, but you need somebody else to piece this together or you may have that knowledge of something. But you can have somebody on the inside that's going to get on the stand to do what? Testify or write a statement or basically to what? Corroborate the story. It's called a corroborating witness. So basically, even if they may have had an idea of what's going on by you giving up information, you confirming what they know. You still a snitch. Shoddy, if what he's saying is correct and you definitely did what he's saying you did, nigga, you a snitch too. But... I'm not going to call you one all the way yet until I see a little bit more. But right now, my nigga, hey, you know I've been riding for you the whole time. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, my nigga, my nigga, you crying? I mean, like, I mean, all grown men cry some. Nigga, you in that motherfucking jail crying in front of all. The fuck? Dog, you a rat? You were you pointing out phone calls and linking niggas together? So that, man, damn. Oh, yeah, hit that like button for me. Hit that share button, subscribe. Matter of fact, if you in the live chat, when the live chat in, continue the conversation in the regular comment section. I don't care if you just go over there and comment the words, Real Talk Media. Shout out Queen, shout out Kiki, shout out Melissa, shout out King Cash, shout out my nigga Bandana Black, DJ Bandana Black. Make sure y'all go check him out. Shout out King Smog, matter of fact, shout out Mad Gotti, shout out Tim, man, look, y'all check him out. Big hand, what up though? Tim Tyler, Cash Out TV, get at me, man. Hey. Drop a comment down below and let me know what y'all think about this. I'm on Twitter and Facebook at Real Talk Blogger. <laughs> Yo, this shit crazy. I'm out.